Hi, I'm Liam Milan, and in this video, we're going to look at audio to MIDI conversion in Ableton Live. So Ableton has the ability to transcribe the data or the music within our audio files and turn them into MIDI data within a MIDI clip. And there's three different ways it can do this. If I just go to actually do the process, so if I control click and I go to the bottom of the, uh, the top drop down menu, we have convert harmony to new MIDI track, we have convert melody to new MIDI track and convert drums to new MIDI track. So converting drums to new MIDI track, as you'd expect, is about transcribing percussive parts and putting them in the context of being a, a MIDI clip. Convert melody is to take a single note line, so not polyphonic, not chords, just single melodies, and convert those into MIDI data. And then convert harmony is about chords and trying to transcribe simultaneous notes from an audio file. So if we go to our drum beat to begin with, So if I want to convert that, I just control click and go convert drums to new MIDI track. So that's transcribed the main parts of the percussion there. It sounds obviously different because it's loaded a default drum machine in there to uh, play those sounds. But from that point onwards, we can take that drum beat and turn it into our own from a sonic point of view, or go in and edit the MIDI and modify that as well. So if I go to my bass line, I believe it was. Uh, the one above. Yeah. Okay, and we do the same process, but we choose convert melody to new MIDI track. So that's converted pretty much the same parts that are in there. Occasionally we need to go in and make an occasional edit to the notes that are in there just to make them a bit more uh, in keeping with the original file. Um, and then we have our chords as well, which are these. So this is going to be a harmony conversion, so convert harmony to new MIDI track. So now I have the chords taken from an audio loop. Now I also have the bass line taken from uh, another audio loop and the drum pattern taken from another audio loop too. This doesn't have to be pre-given uh, loops that you use. You can single out a section of an existing song and transcribe a piece of uh, melody or drum beat from that song. Key tips with that is, is make sure they are as so load as possible within the track. So if it's a drum beat and if it's electronic music, try and go for the intro where the drum is by itself as much as possible. Or if it's a melody line, if it happens to be on its own on the buildup, take it from that section rather than when it's alongside the bass and the drums that happen on the main section as well. So that's using the audio to MIDI function to be able to transcribe drums, melody, and harmony.